Hello there, welcome back to the new lecture. So in this lecture, now I will show you how to prepare bill of quantity for plumbing work. Okay, so preparing a bill of quantities for plumbing work involves a detailed breakdown of all materials, labors and equipment required for the plumbing system installation or maintenance. So here I will guide you how to prepare a comprehensive BOQ for plumbing work. So for that same which I have already discussed in the HVAC work also here to prepare the BOQ for plumbing work you have to follow some step what in that the first step you have to understand the project scope so for that what you have to do you have to review the design documents okay in that a study the plumbing drawing is specification and other relevant documents then clearly de define the scope of work including the type of plumbing system, water supply, drainage. Okay. Then second step is to break down the plumbing work by category. So divide the work into major categories such as pipe, fittings, fixtures, valve, insulation and testing. Okay. Then the next step is to list all components and activity like pipes, fittings, fixtures, valves, insulation, testing and commissioning. And the next step is to quantify each item okay so you have to use the appropriate unit of measurement for each item example meter pieces sets okay then perform the quantity takeoff from the drawing and specification which already I have discussed okay then the next step is important rate and pricing so you have to determine the unit rate for each item based on market price supplier quotes and historical data and then finally we have to calculate the total cost for each item by multiplying the quantity by the unit rate okay then finally we have to prepare the BOQ documents so here in the BOQ documents you can see this is our plumbing system water supply work first then we have to see the drainage work so here in the water supply work in the first you can see here the item description is written so in this description uh, we have to provide a clear and detailed description of each item let's say this is our water supply work uh, for cold or hot water pipes inside the building see their material as is specified include all fitting walls water hammer arrestor automatic air vent and all required accessory to complete the installation for the following outer diameter so here we need a detailed description of each item so here they are talking about the cold and hot water pipes which we are running inside the building so okay and the in the ne uh, next column you can see the unit of measurement see the pipe will be measured in which unit in meter different diameter is given suppose in your project you are using 20 mm dia pipe 25 mm so that unit of measurement is given in meter so here you have to write down the unit in which unit you want the quantity of pipe okay and in the next column you can see here the quantity is given in which unit in meter like let's say 20 mm dia pipe in your drawing in your project is suppose 165 meter 20 mm dia pipe we have we are using okay so here you have to enter the calculated quantity for each item in this quantity box next one is the rate in next column you can see here we have to provide the unit rate for each item and in the next total amount or you can say total cost so now here you have to calculate and enter the total cost for each item okay so for that what you have to do simply as i told you quantity multiply by unit rate you will get the total cost okay so here you can see the sample BOQ structure for plumbing work here I have shown you this is the water if in your building if you are using cold and hot water supply pipe means domestic pipe so based on their diameter here main target is what we need the quantity once you will get the quantity so based on market price okay you will get the uh, unit rate everything okay how to calculate the material takeoff quantity for pipe everything i have discussed okay now next 
for pipes outside the building suppose outside building also if you are running the pipe so their details their diameter okay individual electric water heater if you are using to supply the hot water so see their capacities and their quantity we have to write in our complete project now this is our drainage waste and vent work water supply i have discussed now for drainage the pipe which we are using for vent and storm drainage pipe see upc class 4 drainage vent here you have to write down the detailed description vent and storm drainage pipe so their detail unit see unit of measurement is meter quantity you have to write down okay how to calculate that all i have discussed in detail same way underground upc class 4 drainage and storm drainage pipe as specified including excavation bedding backfilling warning tap for pipe outside the building then flow drain in your project how many flow drain you are using their diameter see the quantity unit of measurement is given here number so 38 total number of full drain we are using so just example i am giving same way if you are using roof drain in your project so their quantity total their diameter also side outlet roof drain if you are using their detail okay funnel flow drain detail is given here ground clean out detail is given so that all we have to write down their quantity then condensate drain pipe inside the building for ac unit which we are using now so their quantity I, I here we have needed so just write down after that the plumbing fixtures which type of fixture you are using in your complete project like shower head with shower tray their total quantity three countertop laboratory if you are using wall hung laboratory okay this all i have already discussed how to find out the quantity of this all fixtures okay then see the supply installation connect testing and commissioning and automatic factory package fabricated tested certified this all is given here in that the first is given each pump okay domestic water pump if you are using their quantity is needed here clear everything is there okay so finally here you will get the total amount whatever because see the unit rate as i told you from where you will get the unit rate the unit rate for each item is totally based on the market price okay or the supplier quotes and historical data you will get this detail so to get the total amount what you have to do quantity multiply by unit rate of each item so you will get the total cost so in this way generally we have to prepare the boq for plumbing work so i hope that all of you enjoy this session see you in next one